A bipartisan majority of the United States House of Representatives voted on Saturday in favor of a bill that could effectively ban the TikTok app in the United States, part of a package of bills worth 95 billion US dollars in aid to key allies around the world. The bill imposing the new limits on TikTok was the first of four bills to be passed. The unusual four-bill package not only includes funds for Ukraine, but also Israel. Moreover, it also includes security assistance for Taiwan and allies in the Indo-Pacific, and a measure that includes sanctions and the potential transfer of seized Russian assets to Ukraine. Meanwhile, Democrats voiced their support for the unusual four-bill legislative package, but did not say whether they would support Republican Speaker Mike Johnson if hardline Republicans tried to oust him over his support for the measures. Our House Democrats have worked hard to bring about a moment where we are standing with our democratic allies throughout the world, including Israel, Ukraine, and in the Indo-Pacific, as well as providing humanitarian assistance to Palestinian civilians in Gaza and others throughout the world who are suffering in theaters of conflict. This is a moment where the Congress is required to stand up for democracy, freedom, and truth, and push back against aggression. In a bipartisan way, we will defeat the pro-Putin obstructionists in the Congress and do what's right for America's national security interests. If you vote against that bill, you're not voting against the Israel bill. You're voting against the Israel humanitarian aid bill. This, the humanitarian aid part of this bill, will save hundreds of thousands of lives. And if you vote no, you're turning your back on those hundreds of thousands of people who, uh, in the absence of this bill, will die. The legislation now proceeds to the Democratic Majority Senate, which passed a similar measure more than two months ago. U.S. leaders from Democratic President Joe Biden to Senate Republican Mitch McConnell have been urging embattled Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring it up for a vote.